as Sean Dillon comes down with it. Sean Dillon gathers in a number of rebounds each and every game. This time trying to pick up an assist, kicks it out to Green. And Coach Lombardi, what a terrific run. He was, remember, on staff with Jamie Dixon at Pitt before coming to IUP as an and one for Seton Hill. So give Dillon the hoop. Coach Lombardi plays some of the other guys that don't get to play all that much. No, he wanted D off to slip there. Never happened, and it leads to a nice layup on the other end. There's a major aspect is retaining your own players as the pull-up jumper goes for Dillon. Yep, sadly. With teams like IUP potentially in the future. I think one thing the Griffins are going to have to do is they're going to have to have a lot of upperclassmen who have played a lot of basketball as Dillon knocks it Try down. To get an open look, get some points. Paola goes to work. Mice, good feed to Dillon. Open three. That's good. Yeah, nice ball movement. Sean there. Dillon has continued his strong play in this game for Seton Hill. Tabe and Mice as well. Yeah. Well, Dillon's had a couple of threes, and I was pretty surprised to see how good his numbers were behind the arc. Roger, he was shooting 47.9% from three-point territory coming in. Although we'll see. Again, every coach has different objectives. Is, is that an offensive foul? Nope, it's a and one opportunity come the other way. Dylan, that's good. No, he continues to get it done. He's up to 19 points. And I think that Sean Dillon and Jalen Stewart certainly did that this evening. And, you know, like I said, the future is somewhat bright. Yeah, Dylan is a sophomore. Stewart is a freshman. When I talked to Kendrick Saunders before, he said one of the keys is containing Simpson, that meaning Jaron Simpson, the Cathedral Prep product who averages 15.2 as an and one opportunity for Jimmy Moon. Tabe. Dylan gets it to go. Jack Gallagher into the game for Edinburgh. Jalen Stewart for the Griffs. Yeah, that's a guy that uh, scouting a number in a scoring call yeah, already in double will, digits. Yes. He has 11. Dylan. Perfect nice, placement nice off move. the glass. Look at it. He certainly did. Now the other way. And an offensive foul. Good defense by Seton Hill to draw the charge as we'll head to Tabe again. This time dishes skip pass to Dillon. It's good. A three-pointer and a timeout taken immediately. Ryan Dillon's first field goal. That was Dillon last time. That came in a loss. And Dillon gets a steal. And he's fouled as he goes down. Seton Hill captures its second victory of the season, 84-76, knocking off Edinburgh. We're now joined by one of the biggest components in the come from behind win, Sean Dillon, as he helps Seton Hill get the second conference win. I know every win is important, but to knock off uh, a team that, quite frankly, you probably matched up fairly well with talent-wise, how important was it that you guys were able to win this one here at home? Um, I feel it was very important. You know, I feel like all season we've been ticking the right direction. We've been proving every, every game, whether we lose by 40 to IUP or, you know, a couple points uh, uh Mercy Harris, I think we're taking the right direction, and it's it's nice to finally get a win. I don't know if you uh, looked at the stats. I'm guessing not. Do you know what you shot at the line? I do not. I know. I don't think I missed, but I don't 12 know. of 12. Yeah. And, and so, really, uh, between you and Tabe, you combined to go 22 of 27 at the line. Just an incredible job closing this one out. How important is it that your team was able to do everything necessary in the final few minutes to win this one? I feel like the, the reason we won is because we, we learned how to close out the game. You know, early in the season, we, we'd be in these types of positions where we didn't, we didn't know how to close it out. And finally, uh, we put it all together and we closed it out. So, big time. I think the future is somewhat bright Absolutely. for Seton Hill. No seniors on this roster. You being a sophomore, uh, you've got a lot of guys coming back. If you can keep this group together, what do you think can happen? Um, I think I was watching the broadcast the other night against UPJ, and the announcer said we can be menace in this league, and I really think they were right. You know, if we stay together and we keep gentlemen and we get a lot of experience with the young guys, I think, you know, the sky's the limit. 
So it uh, it seems like a guy scoring 30 points has become a regular thing <laughs> for, for yeah. Seton Hill. Uh, you had 30 in the loss, and now Tabe goes uh, off tonight for 32 points. When he's locked in like that, I know that often you're distributing to whoever's the right option, whoever's open, but is it kind of a situation where everyone just knows we need to get him the ball and let him go to work? Yeah, I mean, if you look at him, he looks like he could play, you know, corner in the NFL today. So if he's locked in like that, like, I, don't, I really don't think anyone could stop him. So I know that this is your sophomore year, but it's your first season really playing, obviously, with last year being canceled. How have you and some of the other players around the same age, ones who are playing for the first time at this level, kind of handled – uh, the low points and make sure that you, you keep the right focus? Um, I mean, all the young guys, we played high-level basketball in high school, so and Coach always says we're, whatever, 15, 16 games in, so we're not freshmen anymore. So we know what to expect in this t- uh, tough league, and uh, I think we're only going to get better. Favorite part of being here at Seton Hill? My teammates. Awesome. Thank you so much. Congratulations on the victory. Thank you. Appreciate That's it. Sean Dillon, who scores 22 points in the victory, including 12 of 12 at the stripe.